Hey folks, this is John Oaks here with Hangsters Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. And today, yes, we've got another vehicle to go over with you. Now this particular one here, this comes to us by way of a consignment car. Um, and this is a 1969 Chevrolet Corvette. Um, this car is actually pretty nice. As we walk around it, I'll try to call out everything that I see about it, uh, as I usually do. Um, and just kind of, you know, give you all the components and so forth just like always. So done here in the, uh, I guess, kind of like the burgundy color here. Um, the car was repainted. The paint, for the most part, is in pretty good shape. Uh, there's only just a, a couple little places, and I'll point those out for you, um, where there's, you know, a couple little, you know, blems in the paint, maybe, uh, or, or cracks or scratches. Not so much blems, but uh, for the most part, the paint's nice, smooth, and shiny on the whole entire vehicle. Now, obviously, See, as you can see here as we're standing here at the side of the car um, it does in fact have the aftermarket wheels on it they are 15 inch american torque thrust to um, polished aluminum wheels the five spoke design there and of course the cooper cobra radial gts um, up front we've got the 225 70 15s and out on the back i believe these are 255 60 15s here yes that's exactly what what those are um, now this car here just kind of as an overview for the drive line and so forth it does have a 327 cubic inch motor um, it is not a, an original motor for the car um, it does in fact have a very nice transmission in it it's been upgraded to the Tremec five-speed manual there again nice short throw shifts on that nice crisp shifts um, just the ease to operate inside the car there and then also it does have the original style uh, GM 10 bolt rear end posi unit in there with a 308 gear um, it is a power steering car manual brake but it is all four wheel disc brakes on this car as well so again it runs great drives great stops steers all that stuff very very nicely um, as you can see here we've got the stingray script here on the front fenders you've got those fender vents also and then this particular car as you can see here it's got the two inch uh, tubed headers here coming into the side pipes nice chrome side pipes and they do have the heat shields on it here with the stingray and the cross flags emblems there all cut out of it um, as far as uh, all of our other trinkets and so forth on the car we do in fact have both driver's side and passenger side chrome mirrors here those are in great shape the chrome is in excellent condition glass is in great shape too all of our glass here no chips or cracks anywhere within the glass those are all in good shape all of our bright work and moldings those are all in really good condition too nice and straight they're not dent or dinged any wear uh, looks good there as far as all that goes got the chrome door handle there that's again in great shape uh, it does have maybe a little uh, little scratch or two on it but again the chrome is untouched it looks really good obviously your gaps your elevations on the car all look good body lines all line up here too and again, with the Corvette, it's all fiberglass. So again, you're not going to see any kind of, of rust or any kind of structural damage unless it would were to be cracked or anything. And there are no cracks anywhere within this car as far as the fiberglass goes. Now let's go ahead and open our door up. Take a look at our interior. We've got the all black interior front bucket seats with the headdress and the Corvette and the cross flags embroidered on the backs of those seats. It does, in fact, have the uh, seat belts there for the front seats black carpeting's in good shape no rips or tears anywhere there door panels are in great shape too um, again the door sill plates look to be pretty good again they're gonna have a couple little marks it is a 1969 car factory dash factory instrumentation on this vehicle um, it does have an aftermarket uh, it's a custom auto sound AMS 
FM digital radio, um, MP3 capable, and uh, Bluetooth capable also on that radio. Full length center console there. Uh, as you can see, it does in fact have the correct shift pattern on there for the Tremec manual transmission that is in this three bar steering wheel there with a comfort grip uh, on that steering wheel. And this car is in fact, if you can tell from the roof there, it is a T-top. Um, so that makes it nice uh, on those nice summer nights. You can go summer days, uh, you can go ahead and remove those T-tops. And in fact, in the storage area on this car, um, you do have the uh, T-top covers also so that you can place those back there and keep them very, you know, in good shape. The other thing we always look at are weather stripping and seals. All of that stuff is in really good shape on this particular car. Even out on the door, as far as your weather strips around the door goes, everything is nice and soft. Um, no rips or tears anywhere there whatsoever. So again, that's going to seal up all very very nicely as I mentioned with their factory instrument instrumentation you do in fact have the 160 mile an hour speedo and you do have the tack all there right there in your dash on this car so that's pretty much it as far as the interior goes we'll take a look at it from the other side there once we get to that point Again, the door shut very nice and easy, a good tight seal all the way around the doors. Now again, as far as pointing out to you uh, things that I see, um, there is just a little teeny tiny nick in the paint up here on the sail panel, as well as a little crack in the sail panel as far as the paint goes. Nothing in the actual body panel itself, just in the paint. Of course, you got your uh, antenna back here mounted. Your rear glass is in great shape. You've got those vents back here that are in good condition here. There's no, uh, I don't really see um, much pitting or anything on that chrome on those vents. Of course, you got your fuel fill door right there in the back. And of course, on a Corvette, you don't have a trunk. So we don't have to go through any of that. As far as the tail of the car here, your tail lights, the lenses, as well as your bezels, all of that is in really good shape. There's no chips or cracks in any of the lenses. You've got that split rear bumper here and the chrome is in great shape. That rear bumper looks really nice on this car. And again, you've got your Corvette uh, badging back here, the letters and so forth. All of that looks good as far as the actual uh, emblem goes. Um, as we walk around to the passenger side of the car, again, still same thing, paint nice, smooth and shiny all the way around here. Um, I don't think I saw any uh, marks or anything to really call out on this side of the car. It looks really good over here. Again, wheels and tires are all in good shape as we've already called that stuff out on the other side. You can see the condition of the chrome uh, and the heat shields here on the uh, side pipes, which looks very, very nice. The chrome on the mirror again and the glass all in great shape. Glass, no chips or cracks on this side. Same thing here with all of your bright work, all of your your trim and molding here all in great shape and you can see your gaps and so forth on this side look really really good also so we'll open this side up that way you just get to see exactly you know the whole entire interior from both sides now one thing uh, with that radio um, there is a speaker box back in the storage area um, kind of hard to see it right now but it does in fact have uh, it's got a I believe a 10 inch uh, Rockford Fosgate subwoofer in there and it does have this 6x9 speakers in there as well and I believe all of it is all Rockford Fosgate name brand so good stereo equipment and again like I said it does have that aftermarket radio so everything's been upgraded as far as that goes same thing over here though all of your weather stripping all of your seals, um, all of your door weather stripping here. Again, all in great shape, nice and soft, no rips or tears. And again, it's all anchored good and secure. There's not going to be anything hanging off of the car. All looks to be really good. We'll close this door. 
And again, over here, the door handle on this side looks great. And again, you'll get that where maybe one side looks a little bit worse than the other side, mainly the driver's side, because that's the one that's being used a lot more on the car. As we come towards the front, you've got your matching Stingray here on the uh, passenger side fender. And then that brings us kind of around to the front of our 69 Corvette. Again, you've got that small bumper here, that thin bumper here. Chrome is in great condition here, no pitting. No, cra or no scratches or anything in the chrome. Of course, you've got the flip open headlights here. Now these are the uh, vacuum operated headlights. However, this car does in fact come with the electric kit for these. So if you elect to buy the car, it is going to have all that stuff that comes with it to convert this over to electric. Of course, you've got the cross flag emblems here down below. You've got your split grills down below here, which those are in great condition. All the chrome, the trim around those are in great shape too. Of course, you've got the license plate down there, the 1969 to go along with the car. Again, you've got your hood here. It is a uh, the stock hood for this car, fiberglass as well as the rest of the car here. But again, the hood's in great condition here. No cracks anywhere whatsoever. And again, all of your gaps and so forth around that hood are in great shape. Same thing with the windshield here. Uh, it does in fact have no cracks, no scratches, no pits whatsoever, no chips either in there. And again, all of your trim work around the windshield. That that is in great shape as well. It does in fact have wipers on it. Um, I believe, yes, they are there. They're, they're recessed obviously underneath your cowl, uh, but they are there and they do function on the car. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna pop our hood. That way we can go ahead and talk a little bit about what we've got underneath there. Okay, there we go. So of course it's got the, the hood release inside the car. Let's go ahead and raise this up. Make sure we latch there. There we go. And then I'll go to the other side here and we'll talk about the engine. So as I said there uh, at the beginning of the video, 327 cubic inch small block Chevrolet motor. Uh, it is not the original numbers match motor, uh, but it does in fact have the stock uh, aluminum intake on here, which again, the Corvette motors would have had. Um, so yes, your aluminum intake, it's got the K&N style air filter here, um, both the regular element as well as the top element as well so that it pulls air all the way around on the car. It does have just your typical, this is kind of your classic Holly 650 CFM carb double pumper here on this particular vehicle. Uh, it does have electric choke on it as well. Stock radiator, um, it's got your uh, steel fan in here to help cool things down radiator, the hoses, hose clamps, and so forth. We've looked all that stuff over. All of that looks good, nice and dry all the way around on the vehicle. Um, as far as the, uh, you saw that it does have those, uh, uh, the side pipes there. Um, now they are a two inch tube right here as they come out of your, uh, off of your head. Um, and they are, uh, you know, uh, chromed or ceramic coated up top here, working into the chrome down the side pipe there. As far as the ignition system on this car, it's an MSD Pro Billet distributor, eight and a half millimeter plug wires to help deliver that spark. MSD blaster coil there as well. Um, and those are, uh, you know, good distributors, good part spark plug wires. Um, so you're not gonna have any issues there. It's gonna burn real efficiently as far as the spark and the fuel and everything go on this car. As I mentioned before, it is a power steering car, manual brakes though, but it is in fact four wheel drums. So it's gonna steer great. It's gonna stop just as good having it be, you know, all four wheel disc brakes. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, I mean, it's got the chrome valve covers here with the Chevy bow tie uh, here embossed in them. PCV valve breather on the other side. Um, that's that's pretty much really it to, to go over as far as the motor. Um, also, 
again, we've already mentioned it, but again, keep in mind this does have that Tremec uh, transmission, the Tremec 5 speed. Very good transmission. Uh, again, nice performance upgrade uh, to any car, uh, but again, they're nice short throw shifts, nice crisp shifting uh, transmission, uh, and just a whole lot easier than your typical, like a Muncie or a Saginaw transmission. They're just way, way, way better than that. Um, Again, this is a consignment vehicle. Um, so again, what I always tell everybody is, depending on where you're watching the video from, always go to our website if you can, www.hanksters.com. Um, that way you'll get to see upwards of about 100 photos of this car, both all the way around inside and underneath the car as well, uh, as well as this video that you're watching. Um, and then um, with, the, with the consignment cars you're gonna see on there, our read Retail pricing for it. Um, now, consignment cars do not include our uh, warranty, um, the powertrain warranty. There, they are an as-is car, so uh, so you'd have that as far as that goes. But. Um, the other thing is just uh, if there's any kind of parts or accessories. Now, being that it's consignment, you obviously be uh, responsible for, for paying for the car. But if there was anything you wanted to add to it, we could still do that. It's you know nothing against that. So again, if you're looking to have anything, parts, accessories, so forth added to it once you purchase it, um, definitely hit us up by phone, email, or text. Let us know what those things might be that you'd like to have added or changed and we can definitely get you uh, prices on parts and labor to have that done. Um, so with that said, pretty much done here with our walk around. We'll go ahead and close everything up here. And then just as we always do, we're going to get this on our lift, show you the complete underside, and then we'll fire that motor up and let you hear what that, along with these nice looking side pipes here, all sound like on this vehicle. All right, folks, so here we are once again back here in our shop so that we can go uh, through the underside here of our 1969 Corvette here. Again, this car was brought to us by way of consignment. So what we're gonna do here is go through everything as we see it here, call out everything that we can uh, for the most part. Um, again, just to kind of disclose every single thing that we can about the car. Now, again, it is in very good condition underneath here. Uh, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But uh, again, just like our other other cars here we're going to start at the front and we want to call out that it does in fact on our 69 Corvette here have that front uh, chin spoiler or air dam here again that's just a plastic piece but it is done um, in the flat black there no cracks splits or anything like that all good and solid all solidly mounted to the car too with all the proper hardware um, so no issues there that all looks good as far as coming back a little further here when I look up here we're looking at the bottom of the radiator now and again I'm just looking to see if I can see any leaks or drips or anything like that I can tell you that around the petcock that is nice and dry the whole bottom of the radiator nice and dry and over where your lower radiator hose here is um, that is nice and dry the hose the hose clamp all looks to be in very good condition as we come back a little further we've got our sway bar here to start the suspension so again this is a three-quarter inch sway bar the sway bar bushings here to frame as well as here at your sway bar end links all look to be in good shape they're not split or cracked anywhere um, so all of that looks good front cross member very important obviously all of your suspension is going to mount right off of this piece here and that cross member as you can see here very nice and straight does not look like it's ever been dinged or hit on anything whatsoever looks good far as the suspension this is just going to be all factory oe style uh, upper and lower control arms um, ball joints and everything again look to be in really good shape here um, the steering um, we do in fact have have power steering on this car um, and that all looks good your drag length um, all your tie rods the tie rod ends all have the little rubber dust boot covers on them to help keep that grease in and any of the dirt and debris out of there just like on those um, 
ball joints here on your OE uh, upper and lower control arms. Uh, and then as far as the braking system go on this car, um, it is manual brakes. However, it is disc brakes on all four corners of the car. So again, you're not going to have any issues with this vehicle start stopping. Uh, again, um, it's, it's going to be a little lighter because again, as we know with the Corvettes, you've got all fiberglass body and floors on the car. So again, um, no issues there. Disc brakes are in great shape. And again, it's all factory stuff. So anytime you need to replace those consumables, the uh, brake pads, the rotors and so, so forth, um, you should be able just to run into any of your advanced or any auto parts store, whether it's advanced O'Reilly's, auto parts, uh, Napa, whatever, they should be able to get you those parts if they don't have them in stock wheels and tires on this car so you saw from our external walk around here that in fact it does have aftermarket wheels and tires the wheels all 15 inch all the way around they are the american racing torque thrust wheels the polished aluminum five spoke design and then as far as the tires go these are cooper cobra radial gts on the fronts we've got 225 70 15s and then as we get to the rear i'll go over those sizes too with you um, but again you can see the tread is in really good condition on this car We'll walk ourselves just a little bit here now towards the uh, interior here or the middle of the car and then we're going to go over the drive line now. So starting with the engine, as we've already gone over with you, this is a 327 cubic inch small block Chevrolet motor, not the original numbers match motor for this car. Um, but again, very good running. You can see the oil pan itself here. It's in good shape here as I look up where our uh, oil pan seals and gaskets are those are all dry all the way around including at your drain plug and at the back of the oil pan too i know a lot of times if you have any kind of issues with say like a rear main seal and so forth you'll get leaks and drips back here but this is all nice and dry underneath here um, from what i'm looking at the transmission now this is a, an aftermarket transmission tremec five speed manual transmission as far as the transmission goes this is going to be a great transmission for you um, it's going to have nice firm shifts for you again the tremec all you know a lot of guys are putting those in for an upgrade uh, for a performance you know five speed or six speed transmission but in this case five speed is what we have the bell housing is in great shape it does in fact have the uh, the cover here for you know your clutch and so forth so that nothing gets in there and damages the flywheel so that's all good there transmission nice and dry also no leaks or drips anywhere your transmission cross member nice and straight here on the bottom side of our car the actual transmission mount uh, both the hardware as well as the mount itself is in great condition and again your output shaft seal uh, at the back of the transmission that is in great shape and no leaks or drips there that is in fact where your slip yoke for your drive shaft is going to fit into there but that is nice and dry as well before we get too awfully far and we can still look up the exhaust system on this car if you noticed you do not see it coming through the center of the car as you would probably in in most uh, stock or oe situations in this in this case this car does have a, a pair of uh, two and a or two inch um, these are the header slash side pipe for the car so they've elected to go with the side pipes on the car gives it just that you know kind of that look that you know whoever the previous owner was if that's the look they wanted to go with um, it does in fact have the heat shields on it as well and as you noticed from our exterior video um, it is uh, engraved there or cut out with the uh, stingray and the cross flags there on the side so again a nice looking set of heat shields there for the car um, again if you like this look with the side pipes there you go if not you do still have the option 
you could replace that and run the exhaust as it would be in your stock configuration. Uh, as far as the floors go, no issues here whatsoever. Of course, we know that you know this is you know your fiberglass shell. You've got the fiberglass floors, and again, those are all solid. There, there's no breaks, there's no cracks, there's no holes anywhere, there's no patches anywhere on this particular car. All of it looks very, very good underneath the frame. As we come all the way back here on both sides, those all look good and straight. Brake lines, fuel lines, all run nice and neat right along the side of those frame rails too. Drive shaft. This is an aftermarket drive shaft. Uh, it is done by Dino Tech Drive Shafts. Um, it's still got all the labeling and everything on it. The drive shaft itself looks to be in good shape. Universals and so forth all look to be in good condition too as it comes back to that rear end housing. As far as the rear end housing goes, this is going to be your you know stock uh, rear end for this car. It is a 10 bolt GM rear end. Um, and I, I can't remember the exact gear ratio, um, so I don't want to tell you a wrong number, but again, always look at our website. It is going to be posted there, and uh, if I remember correctly, I might have stated that in our external walk around video. As far as the rear end, like I said, you've got your telescoping axles here coming out to each of the rear wheels. That is, in fact, how the Corvettes were. Um, this mono or multi-leaf transverse mount leaf spring here in the back that is in fact how the rear suspension is done on the car um, you've got your shocks back here too uh, bushings on the mounting ends and locations of the shocks all look to be in good shape um, your links back here too for the rear end those all look to be in good condition the mounts and everything for all of that all look to be good um, as far as coming back any further now on the car of course we just have the ending section of our frame here to finish car off and then if we look up above at our rear valance here again you're going to notice it does have the provisions there for the exhaust to come all the way back here so again you do have that option if you don't like the side pipes run your exhaust all the way back through and then you finish it off here with a nice set of tips with the tailpipes through those provisions they're given in that rear lower valance and again it's got the chrome split bumper there on the back of the car which is in great shape too um, no no uh, pitting no scratches whatsoever there um, i did fail to mention tire size on the back so let's go back there and i'll give you that so we have a set of 255 60 15s on the back and again all matching tires um, the cooper cobra radial gts and the tread is in excellent shape so with that said that's pretty much the underside of our 69 corvette we're going to go ahead now lower it down and as we always do we'll go ahead and fire that engine up that way you get to hear exactly what it sounds like uh, especially here with it having those side pipes on you'll get to hear that sound 